once I had decided that I was probably going to write a book, I spent some time thinking about the title. And then all of a sudden, an um, incident came to, came to me, something that happened when I was in high school. I was walking home from school and I ran into a neighbor boy who maybe asked me what I wanted to do and maybe I just said I was interested in doing physics and he said a singularly unfeminine profession. And that stuck to me be, with me because it was unique for that time in my life. My childhood experiences were generally pretty positive and that was one the first indication that I heard that I woman had no business doing physics. <laughs> My work was highly cited. I was doing very well, but there was not a question for them to hire a woman, and they just kept hiring other people. And initially, I thought it was because those people were all better than me, <laughs> and better than I was, and then I finally eventually came to think that wasn't really the case, and it was anti-feminism. When I was a, a summer student at Brookhaven, uh, Everybody got excited because uh, a scanner, who's somebody who looks at pictures that are taken by apparatus, a reported an event that had never been seen before. And I wasn't educated enough to know what the excitement was about, but I sure understood the excitement. And I wanted to be part of that. And I wanted to learn. I wanted to know enough so that I would understand why this was exciting. There was a time in my life where I was being a mother and a cooking dinner and washing and doing physics and not much else. But I, I, it had never occurred to me to give up. I just was something I loved. I think it's pretty well established now that girls are not inherently different than boys in terms of math ability. And the differences, I think, are have to do with how they're taught, the social atmosphere. We still need to let women know that they can do physics and get them interested, have them take more math in high school so they'll be prepared when they get to college. I came to Berkeley in 1981 and I was just, well I was really received warmly by the department. I mean I felt wanted and that was a whole lot different from what I'd been feeling at CERN and so I, I it was great and uh, I mean Every now and then I might run into some little incident, minor incident of anti-feminism, but it was so minimal compared to what I experienced and the overall welcome that I got here uh, and the way I was treated and respected was just a huge, it was night and day. There's a big advantage to coming to the United States beyond anything else, which is you get to work as long as you want. <laughs>